based on the RCL series circuit. Okay, so this one has this circuit has three components: resistor, capacitor, and inductor. Uh, and the voltage is given for across all of them. So RCL, this is a RCL circuit. Uh, and the root mean square voltage are shown. So all these are root mean square voltage. Uh, so we can say uh, this is the okay. So we can say uh, this is the root mean square uh, resistor. Uh, this is the root mean square capacitor, and this is the root mean square inductor. Okay. Uh, root mean square voltage for resistor, root mean square voltage for capacitor, root mean square voltage for inductor. Now, with the aid of a phasor diagram, must draw a phasor diagram, determine the applied voltage and the phase angle of the circuit. So, applied voltage means uh, the source voltage. Okay, the word applied, the word applied means source voltage. Uh, okay, so he he want to find the. Uh, Okay, he did not specify is root mean square voltage or peak voltage. Yeah, no specify. No specify means straight away root mean square voltage. Okay, uh, straight away asking for root root mean. Uh, sorry, straight away asking for root root mean square. Sorry, yeah. Uh, if no specify means directly we know it is asking for root mean square voltage and this is the applied or voltage means the source voltage we asking for the you can say the total total voltage uh, total root mean square voltage and the phase angle is the phi okay the phi and then the next question he asked for the current flows in the circuit if the resistance is uh, 26 ohm yeah uh, this is the big r resistance uh, this uh, no specify what kind of current is it root mean square current or peak current so no specify means directly is root mean square current okay if no specify means root mean square that's it yeah so this one he asked for root mean square Current, yeah, root mean square current. Sorry, yeah, I need to write better. Root mean square current. Now, uh, he asked for the inductance and capacitance. Ah, uh, so inductance and capacitance is the okay, inductance is um, big L, big L, capacitance is a uh, C, big C, yeah, uh, and 50 hertz is the frequency, okay, it's the frequency. Now, ask for the resonant frequency. Uh, resonant frequency means the FR, okay, uh, resonant frequency, FR. So, okay, uh, this is the question. Uh, the, we learned that the question says it is a RCL circuit. It has three components. Okay. And it's given all the voltage across each component. So all of them are root mean square voltage. Yeah. Root mean square voltage. Uh, uh, they are in series. Okay. And this is the applied voltage. Applied voltage also is called source voltage. Yeah. Applied voltage is a source voltage. Uh, this is VRMS source, uh, VRMS R, VRMS C, VRMS L. Now, the question, first question A, he asks for the applied voltage. Uh, applied voltage means the source voltage. Source voltage and um, uh, it didn't specify it is root mean square or peak voltage. So, it, that straight away is root mean square voltage. Okay? Uh, if it didn't mention, specify... Uh, it directly it is asking for root mean square value. So, uh, what's the root mean square voltage? And what, it, uh, what is the phase angle of the circuit? So, phase angle is the phi. Okay. So, applied voltage is also uh, known as the total voltage for the three components. So, what is the total voltage? Uh, it is in series. 
can we say that oh uh, the total voltage the source voltage equal to all these voltage add ups no huh? uh it's wrong yeah we cannot say the source voltage equal to um 153 plus uh, 115 plus one, uh, 314 equal to 5282. Uh, this is only true for DC circuit. DC circuit. But AC circuit, it's wrong. Yeah? AC circuit is wrong. Because all of them are at different phase. Uh, different phase. So, you, it's wrong to just directly add up. So, the right way is you must first draw the phaser diagram. Okay? First, you must draw the Phaser diagram. So how to draw uh, phaser diagram? Okay, first we draw the axis. Draw the axis. Okay, then uh, draw the current. Uh, this is the current. Uh, I because we want to find the root mean square voltage, so we put I RMS. Okay, the one in phase with the current is always the is the resistor. So V RMS R in phase with current, and the one the one on top is always the inductor. Yeah, inductor always leading current so we need to see uh, VRMS L and VRMS C compare so VRMS L is bigger compared to VRMS C uh, so VRMS L is longer yeah uh, this one going to the top is VRMS L and it is longer yeah compared to VRMS C going down it is uh, shorter okay VRMS C. Uh, okay? Uh, VMS L is longer. And because it is long, uh, longer, then we need to uh, cancel off their opposite direction. So we cancel off, we get um, this one. Huh? Uh, this one is VRMS L minus VRMS C. Okay? Uh, then this one resultant with the resistor uh, so we get the uh, this resultant this actually is a vector diagram okay so this and this combine we get the root mean square source okay we get the source voltage and this is the angle phi okay the phase angle so now uh, to find the root mean square source it's not just add up all of them, huh? but we must do Pythagoras theorem. So, VRMS, uh, VRMS source. So, we must combine uh, the X and Y component. So, the X is a VRMS R square plus, and this one, uh, VRMS L minus VRMS C uh, square okay uh, so uh, VRMS R is uh, VRMS R is um, 1 5 3 and then VRMS L VRMS L is 3 1 4 minus uh, VRMS C is 1 1 5 so in the end we get the root mean square source uh, voltage is 251.018 volt uh, yeah so this is the answer the this is the applied voltage root mean square apply voltage okay this is the answer so how about uh, finding the so how about finding the uh, uh, what do you say the face angle uh, so how to find the face angle? So face angle is uh, so I do here. Face angle should be uh, you, you just use cos phi, okay? Cos phi. Uh, just look at the diagram. Cos phi. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, adjacent over adjacent is the resistor voltage. 
hypotenuse is the source voltage. Ah, uh, hypotenuse is the source voltage. So V R M S R is um your sum is one five three, uh, divide by the source voltage we got just now is uh two five one, two five one point zero one eight. Ah, uh, so, uh, so our five we will get uh fifty two point four five degree. Yes, this is the. Phase, uh, phase angle. Okay, next. Uh, we want to find the B. He asked to find the root mean square current. Okay, he asked for to find the root mean square current. Uh, B, but he didn't specify it is root mean square. He want root mean square value or peak value. So no specify means uh, he asked for root mean square value directly. Yeah, root mean square value. So given resistance, one thing we must know is the root mean square current is the same for all components, yeah? Because they are in series, they are in series, RCL in series. So they have the same current. So since we already have the uh, resistance and we also have the V, uh, we also have the VRMSR, we have MSR. Uh, 153 resistor 26 ohm so we directly can use the formula uh, V RMS R equal to I RMS R okay uh, so this is 153 equal to I RMS 26 okay so your I RMS will be equal to 5.8 Eight five ampere. So that's the answer for root mean square current. Okay. So this current will pass through all the component equally, yeah. Because only have one. Okay. Second. So the question C asks for inductance and capacitance. So inductance is L. It's not XL, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, L is inductance, unit Henry. Uh, XL is inductive reactance. Yeah? Inductive reactance. Uh, that is XL, unit ohm. So different. Inductance and inductive reactance, different. Uh? Uh, so, uh, capacitance also. Uh? Capacitance uh, is farad, unit farad. Uh? In capacitive reactants, unit is ohm, uh, Xc. So C, big C is capacitance, farad. Xc is capacitive reactants, ohm. Uh, and then we also have resistant, resistant R, which is ohm also. Okay, so he, now he asks for these two to find the inductance and capacitance. That means he wants the L and X, L and C, not the XL, Xc, yeah? Uh? Okay, and frequency given. Okay, and, uh, and just now the root mean square current we calculated is 5.885 ampere. So how to find? Okay, we also already have, uh, based on the diagram, based on the diagram just now, uh, based on the diagram just now, we also already have the uh, VRMS C and VRMS L. Okay, we already have these two, so make use of that. Okay, make sure of that. So, first of all, VRMS uh, L, VRMS L will be equal to I RMS. When VRMS, I also RMS. When L, this is XL. Uh, and also, we also need to use the VRMS C equal to I RMS XC. Uh, when C, this one C. When L, this one L. When RMS, RMS. RMS RMS okay so uh, V RMS L just now is uh, 314 the root mean square the root mean square current we got is 5.885 sorry 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 yeah is uh, 5.885 XL so XL will be equal to uh, XL will be equal to uh, 53.356 
ohm. Okay. Uh, then uh, this is the XL. X uh, XC. Uh, XC. Uh, so VRMS C just now is uh, 115. 115. And uh, root mean square current. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Root mean square current is 5.885 XC. So XC is equal to uh, 19.541 ohm. Okay? Uh, then we can find our inductance and capacitance using the reactance formula. If XL it is equal to omega L, XC is equal to 1 over omega C. Okay, continue from here. So, uh, okay, XL, omega L. Oh, we have the frequency. Yeah, we have frequency. Make, make, use, of, make use of that. So, XL equal to 2 pi FL. XC equal to 1 over 2 pi FC. Okay, so XL, so substitute, uh, XL is uh, uh, 53.356, uh, 2 pi frequency is 50 uh, L. Okay, L. So what is your L? The L you get is uh, 0 0.17 Henry. Uh, okay, that's the unit Henry for L. Next, okay, uh, next is, um, next is, uh, XC. XC is, uh, 19.541 over 1 over 2 pi. FF is, uh, 50, okay, C. So, we got C is, uh, C is, uh, 1.629 exponent, Negative 4 farad. Yeah, that's the answer. Okay? Capacitance. Now, finally, uh, the resonant frequency. Okay, resonant frequency, how it happened? When it happened? Okay, it happened when... It happened when... Resonance happened when... X... Uh, L equal to XC, uh, which is uh, uh, resonant frequency is uh, represented by FR, uh, resonant frequency. So XL formula is uh, 2 pi FL, uh, XC is 1 over 2 pi FC, uh, and uh, these two are equal when during resonant frequency happen. So this F is FR, resonant frequency. This one also resonant frequency. And then, uh, simplify this formula. We will get this formula. FR equal to uh, 1 over uh, 2 pi square root LC. Uh, this, is, this is the formula after derive. Uh, but, make, but be careful, this formula this formula will not be provided, yeah? not provided in formula list during exam. Huh? Uh, it's not in the formula list. It's not. It's not provided in the formula list. So make sure you need to memorize it. Yeah, yeah, memorize it, or you derive it your own. Yeah. Uh, it's this formula 1 over 2 pi square LC resonant frequency this formula for resonant frequency well it's not provided in the formula list you need to memorize or derive your own okay so you need to memorize this formula by your own huh? so 1 over just substitute just now the values L is uh, 0 0.17 and then C is a uh, 1.629 exponent negative 4. Okay? Uh, multiply. So, in the end, we will get answer. Fre resonant frequency happened during... Uh, the resonant frequency is 30.24 hertz. Okay? So, that's the resonant frequency.